Braille is important to me because it keeps me connected with the world. I rely on Braille for my schoolwork. I rely on Braille to do homework. I rely on Braille for fun. It really has enabled me to be in a mainstream setting and, and learn with, with my classmates. Braille is literacy, the only way blind people can read and write. This tree could grow to be 80 feet tall. Paul Paravano, chairman of the board of National Braille Press and the director of government and community relations at MIT, points to some startling statistics about the correlation between early learning of Braille and later success in life. 70% of blind adults are unemployed and of the 30% that are employed, 90% are Braille readers. Today, Braille is even more powerful. Digital technology gives blind people faster access to more information and levels the playing field at school, the office, or home. It's similar to a laptop. It has a QWERTY keyboard. There are ones made with a Braille keyboard. It has a refreshable Braille display on the bottom. So anything that I type or anything that I'm reading, a book that I'm reading, let's say, um, will come up on the bottom Braille display. And it has Word Mobile and PowerPoint Mobile. Basically, the Pac Omni has my life on it. And then I can run a spell check. I'm a horrible speller. Brendan is in the seventh grade. What have we learned from Iraq? Using an article about the war in Braille and his device, he can read along or take notes. A surge of words, so maybe that could be a lesson like use the surge. Yeah. So Just like the others working on the group presentation. Jack is in the fifth grade and loves dogs. With the help of his Aunt Bonnie, he's writing a book about a boy who rescues dogs. There's some, shall we <clears throat> say, interesting characters within the book. I have this wonderful machine here. I write it with this. My dog is exceedingly affectionate. And then I can email the latest version of the book to my Aunt Bonnie, and she can email it back. Marissa, an honor roll student, is in 10th grade, and like any teenager, can't survive without access to Facebook or I am. I keep in touch with my friends in a number of ways. It's just faster to read a message in Braille than it is to listen to it and to respond. Rocco is in the 8th grade and an excellent musician and singer. He's also in a program at the Berklee College of Music where he's learning to score music in Braille. Up until six months ago, I was playing piano totally by ear and uh, I realized that I really needed to learn the actual Braille music code because it would help me to see the chord instead of just hearing it over and over and, you know, figuring it out. Kids like these thrive when they can use the latest high-tech Braille technology, but few blind children get that opportunity. These devices cost six to eight thousand dollars. Most families can't afford it, and most school districts are not able to buy the equipment, enabling them to be successful students. Technology is a game changer for blind people, and if they can't afford it, they can't keep up. Sam is in the fourth grade and is in the top of his class. Sam, what's the cost of one bottle? Um, one bottle is 40 cents. He reads textbooks and paper braille lessons and uses the traditional Perkins Brailler to write and answer homework questions. It's a cumbersome, slow process. We don't want kids like Sam to be left out of the digital age. So National Braille Press developed the Center for Braille Innovation. Our mission is to develop high-tech Braille products that are affordable, so blind kids can access information as quickly and as easily as sighted kids and reach their full potential. Today, only one out of every five blind school children uses Braille, but we believe these affordable Braille devices will allow more blind children to benefit from the power of Braille literacy. Our objective is to develop an affordable product that combines many functions into one device. I use five different pieces of technology, I'd say, in one full day, and hopefully that will change in the future. Messages, double tap to open. 
In this increasingly touchscreen-reliant wireless world, speech software and audio devices are very useful tools for blind people, but they aren't a substitute for Braille. You can't write with them, and you can't use them effectively everywhere. This app on my iPhone allows me to know when the bus that I need is arriving. Since it's only available in audio, it makes it difficult to get the information out on the street. If I were able to read the information on the Braille display, there'd be less opportunity for error because I'd be reading it directly with my fingers. If I didn't have Braille, I would be absolutely positively lost. I, I wouldn't be very independent. What we need is to put these in every blind child's hand so they can have the same access to the same technology that sighted children have. As a leader in Braille books, textbooks, and educational materials, many of our products are now available in digital form or downloadable. As technology continues to change, we're committed to being an information broker and a developer of affordable Braille technology. We're National Braille Press, bringing Braille into the future and the world to your fingertips. <laughs>